Now, in Judaism, you have references to uh, Jesus in the Talmud and uh, in other writings of Judaism, which would make you think there was at least one character who could have been called uh, uh, Judah or Yehuda or whatever, but probably not Jesus. We know it meant the fish from the Greek, Jesus, and uh, it was for the age of Pisces, the fish, that it was created. Correct. Uh, and every era, it's the same long before that, you have had the Ramesses line for the pharaohs in Egypt because their lineage began in, in the reign of Ares, the, 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 the Ram, you see. Mm -hmm. So they always give you a, a religious figure for the particular constellation that rules for about two and a half thousand years or so. So the Jesus was to, to be meant to fulfill a period for 2,000 odd years and then you're into the age of Aquarius which we're coming into now and then he dies off, the new one takes over uh, everything is stellar uh, occultic, lunar occultic and solar occultic in the world's history and the priests down through the ages simply change hats as they did for Rome they changed the, the high priests uh, of Jupiter changed their hats overnight when they, when they were now called uh, the Universal Church. And then after hunting down all what they called were the pagan priesthoods, the Roman Church then began to adopt those very tenets of those priesthoods back into their own religion. And so we had that battle between Constantine and the Gnostics, the Gnostics saying that Jesus was a mythical figure, uh -huh. And then we have Constantine, as uh, new religion, who is going to the, the Roman uh, Catholic Church, mm -hmm. who is going to say that Jesus was an actual man. Now, he is translated in the Bible as an actual man. Mm -hmm. what act how did that come about? What is your... I guess what I'm getting at is, let's deal with the uh, firm Bible believers and then firm believers of the Koran and move on, but what would be your answer to a Bible believer who says this is really the only way to God, this, the words in this Bible have been written by God, and as they're written, they should be read and believed, and this is the way to heaven. What is your thoughts? Well, the, the, in a sense they're right, in that very clever people put the Bible together, giving you the simple rules that would give you a, a really workable society if everyone followed the rules, including those who lead your countries, you see? Mm -hmm. But never in any age have the rulers in this system followed the religion they make the people adopt. Uh, we know that by, by history itself. The leaders have never followed the same rules as the public. Uh, so, so, yeah, it would be workable for the people if everyone did adopt and follow simple rules but however these religions are, are have a, they're very Hegelian because there's, there's always a truth contained within uh, the falsehood is well contained within but the truth is that they're supposed to be stepping stones to much higher truths they're not meant to stay static and become dogmatic as a religion they're supposed to progress onwards and upwards and, and carry the person who is truly seeking into a higher realm of understanding towards uh, a creator. If you notice that the main deity of Yahweh uh, for the Hebrew, old Hebrew, uh, is, a, is very much of a human character, very much of a human God with his failings, his anger, his temper, um, his favoritism, he can also change his, his mind when he wants to and kill you if, it, if he has a sudden rage. So it's, it's really a projection of a human oriental type despotic king that you would find in the Middle East at that period. It was something that people could understand. The Greeks now talked about the, the Demiurgos. The Demiurgos is the base god at the low level of godhood claiming there's four levels and that the base god is in charge of the world he is the lord of the world and he because the people are base give, have very stringent um, uh, patriarchal type rules to make their system work he's unforgiving he, he's very, he, he puts you off guard you're never sure if he likes you or dislikes you um, however he's not supposedly the only one he's one level 
So he's a demiurgos, and Jehovah fits that level perfectly well. If you notice, for instance, uh, the story of, of uh, Jacob. Jacob cheats his brother out of the birthright and the blessing uh, by pretending that he is the brother, and he fools his own father, who's blind or half blind. Mm-hmm. So he lies, he, he, he cheats, and he steals the birthright, uh, and... and to disobey his father, he broke all the rules, and yet the God blessed him for being so crafty and cunning and made him the father of Israel. Now, that's how the mafia would work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and so you have to understand there's, there's high Masonic rules in there, too, because they do believe you should get away with things if you do it craftily and enough cunning um, and to get your way. Uh, the rules of, of the high... Uh, corrupt system is also contained in that Masonic Bible, the Old Testament, if you understand them. Now, mm-hmm. what, 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 what deity that's for justice and all the rest of it would ever uh, allow that to, to, to happen and, and actually bless the criminal? Exactly. Now, you know, getting back to, uh, we were talking about the Vatican's role in the creation of all these religions. Uh, what have you learned uh, through your studies regarding that, whether the Vatican was involved in the creation of uh, uh, Islam, whether it was involved in the creation of uh, Christianity in a sense as we know it, uh, and what is their role in the Bible? Uh, have they been involved in rewriting that? The what, Bible, what, what have you learned? Yeah, the Bible has been written many times, always for political purposes, including the James, the King James Version was written to make the people obedient, because King James thoroughly believed that he was God's representative on earth, uh, ordained by God. And he even wrote a big speech about that. Uh, King James said, uh, how dare the people inquire as to his decisions. He says, don't they realize that that I have the power of God given to me by God to do as I and and say and, and do as I wish? Uh, that's how he truly believes. So, in the King James Version, he, st- he had all the writers stress that point that the government was put there by God and they should obey it. So it was written for a political purpose with a lot of uh, high masons at the time uh, working on that very project. Francis Bacon and others were uh, helped to, to, to write that, that together. And, and what about that? Too, if you go back into the ancient Middle East, and to Zoroastrianism, really, and that was the start of all of these religions. Uh, Zoroastrian, uh, the, the Zoroastrian religion uh, is the first one to come out talking about a good deity and a bad deity. Uh, later on in Judaism, you have a god and a devil, even though the devil, if you read Job, worked for God. God told him to go and torment people. He, he was a worker. He was, he was employed by God. But Zoroastrianism seems to be the one that they've all taken their, their cue from <coughs> uh, and created uh, Judaism from it and Christianity from it as well. And how far back are we going? Uh, it's a very mythical figure, but it's hard to put to Zoroaster. It's also from Zarathustra. And Zoroaster, in the old, old uh, uh, system, meant seed of Ishtar. Uh, that's where the name comes from, Zoroaster. Uh, Zoroaster. Zoro also means the man with the mask, like Zoro. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, you also have the same thing in the Old Testament with the Zoro Babel, which means the seed of Babel. Why would anybody who'd been a slave in Babylon call themselves the seed of Babel? You're, you're looking at coding in there for the wise to understand. And, of course, the profane are never taught the reasons, as they call them. Um, you're looking at very clever people running a system down through the ages with an exoteric for the public, be it Judaism, Christianity, or Islam, but teaching a high esoteric tradition for the ones in the know at the top who laugh up their sleeves at the public all the time. Have you ever had a chance to see that video, Zeitgeist, that has been on the web? No, I've heard about it. I haven't seen it, though. All right, I, I wanted to get your thoughts if you about it. Uh, yeah, I recommend you uh, take a look at it because it goes back and talks about uh, all of the astrological symbolisms 
that are contained in all the di- you know in all the different religions uh-huh. and how they relate to the zodiac. Uh, regarding what we were talking about earlier, the age of Pisces, and coming on to the age of Aquarius. It's even, uh, in, the, it's even in the New Testament, if you understand what you're reading. <coughs> because, um, <laughs> and I, I wrote that in the third volume. I went through the whole Zodiac a few years ago and explained what each one of them meant in the higher esoteric meaning. And um, y- you'll find that, yeah, even George Bush Sr. said everything is going to the heavenly divine plan. What he was referring to was the zodiac and what they mean, because the zodiac to them is a timetable. Each, each part of the zodiac is part of the system that must come into play at a particular time, according to an, an old, old plan. <laughs> 